Hey guys, this is Forte. It's uh, 7.49. Happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully everybody, you know, had a good day today. Uh, the stocks, I stock idea for tomorrow, I have four of them. And they're all still oil names because their oil names are doing great. If you look at some of the names that we pick, you know, obviously today oil had a pretty bad day on a lot of the names, right? But if you look at some of the stock that I picked, we can see that GTE, I made an individual video on this one. It's up about 37% since the entry, right? We have, uh, this is where you probably should have, you should have uh, at least, so at least half or like two thirds of your shares, in my opinion, because it's getting really, really extended, right? Perhaps we get a pullback and then we, you know, have a wider stop for the last one third. Ideas for tomorrow we have is uh, WTI. I, uh, I, I mentioned it last time right here where I got in, but I was kicked. And then it seems like, you know, that that turned into a little shakeout. So the price is back up on the rising volume today, uh, the day before that. And today we had a little inside date with lower volume than yesterday. Although the volume is a little bit higher than usual, which is, I'm not too big fan of when it comes to resting days like this. Um, it's not inside day, we went out. But uh, anyways, I would like to purchase thing. I would like to purchase this thing again if we can get above this. Uh, 455 and then worst case stop i think low of the day is uh you, i don't think you can go wrong with that you know i don't want to see this thing go any lower and the uh, next one i got is actually a stock with not too good of a fundamental or any short interest or none of that it's shlx it caught my eyes because uh, we've been consolidating under the 20, 200 day moving average and kind of like closing below the 20 day moving average right and out of nowhere last friday we were able to have a big volume gap i it was not earnings because earnings is due on the 24th, next uh, Thursday. But we had a huge jump on huge volume. So something is going on in this stock, for sure. And we had an inside day, half the volume, less than half. And, uh, you know, I prefer this thing. We, like, rest one more day or something. Like, get below the previous day's candle and then come back come back up. Two, three more days of uh, resting will be ideal. But if it doesn't do that, I like to buy this thing above right here. And then, worst case stop, I say I wouldn't put it below yesterday's low. Put it right here. You can put it at the low of yesterday if that if you like that. If your risk tolerance is you know if that's where that's where you want to put it. But uh, what I, I would suggest putting it down here. So that would be somewhere around this area, not necessarily at the low of yesterday. And these are two ideas. By the way, if you guys like my videos, be sure to like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're almost at five thousand. And uh, follow me on Twitter at twittercom slash 40 charts. We're almost at a thousand followers. That's crazy, you know. And uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying my videos. Uh, and uh, I, hope, I hope you guys are, you know, if you guys caught one of my winning trades, don't let them turn to a loser. I hope you guys are making money in the last couple of months. I mean, uh, in the last couple of weeks, because it's been, the market has been pretty garbage, but it's been doing pretty well for us if you are following my channel, which we're just like, you know, buy oil stock pretty much. And I'm picking oil stocks for you guys. Another one is CDEV. It's a... A decent little looking chart. We can see that these overhead supplies can all be ignored because the stock has went as slow as almost bankrupting at whatever the price, like a couple pennies right here, 26 cents. So we can see, we can pretend like this is a new IPO from here actually. And we can see the stock that stock has been making higher lows on the weekly chart. And then if you look at it on the daily chart, it will be, become more clear that we're making higher lows. Every time we consolidate, it, you know, we consolidate and pull that pull back at, the, at a higher low. And last time we can see that if the, you wanted to buy this stock, the trigger will be here. People got triggered in, and what happened next is a shakeout right here. So therefore, this thing automatically becomes one of my favorite idea. I think CD uh, CDEV. Let me double check. CDEV also has a 17% um, short flow in the stock. Sells 93 quarter per quarter. EPS 163% quarter per quarter. So this is fundamentally one of the best one I think you can pick, and uh, I really like this idea. And we'll see how this can go, CDEV. And one last idea I'd like to share is CPV, right? You can draw a, uh, whatever people, when people draw stuff like this, I don't really know, you know, why. But, uh, you know, I, that all I care about is that, number one, we have a beautiful weekly chart inside the week last week. And then we're putting in, you know, Monday today, we're putting in like a, inside day, we didn't like fail, even though the XLE, the energy market kind of died today. Uh, this thing still, this thing, same idea where all these overhead supply can be ignored due to the fact that we have pretty much gone down to dollars. I think, I think it's dollars. Let's see. Uh, 
yeah, four dollars or something like that from like what a hundred dollar, hundred eighty dollar stock. So this is where you want to see it, it kind of treat it like a new IPO, a uh, higher low relative to the previous one on the weekly chart. On the daily chart, it's more, you know, it's actually the same with the stock pulled back right here on the kind of previous area of consolidation, recovered, and now we're consolidating above the previous area of consolidation once again. So we had an undercut. I mean, uh, sorry, quick uh, recap. We had an undercut this to undercut that and now we stock recovered now we're consulting this area which is right above where the previous area is and now tells me that you know people are basically people that bought here and still holding they're up on the stock right and now we're putting an inside day today and the volume is a little bit high not to my likings i think i'd prefer another day like that that would be ideal because this is not perfect for me but uh, it's not bad, right? It still looks good. If I can get this thing above on the 15 minute chart, above this high right here, perhaps a low down all the way here. We could, you know, get a early position. I prefer it for another day and like that. That would be my wish. Excuse me, I said that. Someone texted me. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna have my dinner. And uh, yeah, follow me on twitter.com twitter slash forte charts. And uh, if you guys are playing Lost Art, you know, hit me up in my Discord channel. I'm on, you know, Galatar having so much fun. It's a great game. And uh, yeah, have a good one.